Hey there, it's Birit. Now I'm going to show you how to add pages to your brand new fresh website. So up here we have a couple of places that where you can look at pages. Up here where it says page, it just has the home page now and if there were more pages there would be a drop down menu with them all and that's just to navigate from page to page when you have a menu up here that says you know home about contact all that you can't go and click on the pages in the menu in the editor that doesn't work so you've got to if you want to go from one page to the other you've got to go up here and switch pages there or we can go into manage pages and that's where we want to go and there's another way to get through that and that's here so different ways you can either come up here click down and go to a new page that you've already built or you can click on here and that allows you to do a few different things so we're going to go down to the bottom here and click on add a page you can add a page you can add, add a link to a bunch of different things and you can have a something in the menu that says you know services or something like that and it'll just show a drop down that links to other pages it's not really something you click on or it's something you cannot click on it's just a drop down to show your other pages but we're just going to go to add page now and i better get out of the way here all right so <laughs> more complexity it's like no I just want to add a page you have options okay so obviously we have a blank page here which is what I'm going to suggest but you have an about page and you've got lots of different layouts to choose from and once again every time you click on one of these you're getting all their stuff with it you know so you're getting their contact form you're getting there this is probably a repeater here it might be you're getting you know this might be a gallery over here you're getting there you're getting the elements that come with each of these so each of these templates I prefer to build from scratch because as I've said before in earlier videos then I know what I've put on the page and I'm not trying to figure out how somebody else designed something or what elements they used so I like blank you've got services and projects and you know all these different pages one place I don't mind suggesting is contact form or the contact page because this already has a map in it and a form built for you which I don't mind that that would be the one page that you might want to go in and use one of these but you don't have to okay so we're gonna go with a blank page and it's gonna pop out here and ask you what the blank page is gonna be called and we're just gonna add the normal pages that most people use so we're going to have services and then I'm going to click done now I can do two things I can go into add page again and go through all that with the templates or I can just go like this and duplicate that and then I'm going to do it about page and then I'm going to go done and then I click duplicate that and I'm going to go uh, contact and done now one other thing to look at in these pages if you click on the dot 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 here we've got a few things there's settings and we'll look at settings settings has layouts and this is also this tells you that this is the home page um, you can hide this from the menu so that it doesn't show in the menu at the top of the up here at the top of the page layouts standard pages have headers and footers if you want to make a page without a header or a footer you can click on here we're not going to do that today though permissions everybody can see it you can password protect a page and you can make it a members only page that's for another day again 
and then SEO basics. This is where you're going to write your page title. This is going to show you what it looks like on Google. You know, right now this is what this website page looks like on Google. And then there's a few other things, but uh, we'll talk about that another time. And also down here, very important, let search engines index this page. You can turn that off. For example, if you've got a password protected page, something, I don't know, if you've got something you don't want people to find, it sounds really dubious and I don't mean it to, but there are reasons that you might not want a page indexed and you can turn that on and off. So if I go down here into services, it's already put services, that's what the URL of this page is. If I go down into about, yeah, it's actually sometimes, see, remember how I duplicated these? Sometimes it will say copy of about, and this one will be called copy of services. And that's what I was checking for. I was just making sure that the about page is called the about page and they're all, but they're all good. This is um, the SEO whiz, which is fantastic, but that's way down the line when you're finishing up your site. Okay, so we've added pages to our site and now we're going to add a quick menu. So I'm going to add elements and add a menu. And we have tons of menu choices and you have horizontal menus and you have vertical menus that are in this shape. I like the vertical menus um, down in the footer, but I like the horizontal menu up at the top. So we're just going to use the super simple one. I'm going to drag this out here. Come on. There we go. All right. So now we've got home services about and contact and I can drag this up here and see it's attached to the header now. And now that's going to be in the center of the header. I can drag it out a little bit further and take it out to where those grid lines are. And now it will look like that. And it will appear on every page. And that's how you add a menu. A bit later on when we add the colors and the fonts next, and I'll show you how to edit this menu. We'll go into the design and I'll also show you about layout, how you can, you can stretch it out all the way across the screen. You can take this menu and have it just over at this side, which is my favorite. You can kind of put it where you want to in here and make it look like how you want it. All right, yeah, that's in for another video coming soon. Thanks.